turned up. He reckoned he wouldn't come back here no more. Did he? Hey, Stella. Right up. Hello, stranger. How you going? Oh, no complaints. Yourself? All a muscle. Nice dress. I like it. Yeah, suits you. It's real good. <laughs> right, me look who just flew in. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all bugger. <laughs> Wouldn't be near you without him, I still. <laughs> well, I put him in his usual room. I said, well, I put him in his usual room. I'll take care of it. Stopped you. Too bloody far. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you wouldn't have been there. <laughs> Bet you say that to all the girls, eh? <laughs> Hey, Danny. Hey, Blanco. Fill her up, mate. How's the wife and kids? That's enough of your cheek. Hey, Stella. Hey. Got a minute? Sure, I'm not going anywhere. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. Better late than never, isn't it? Oh, perfume. Oh, it's lovely. See you one of these days. You bet. Soon. You never bloody change, do you? His name's Danny. He comes through every few weeks. Anyway, what's it to you?
Andy's at the bar. Well, his food's on the table. Got some drinking to catch up on, he says. <laughs> Trust Andy. Fill her up for you, Maggie. Let's get up in on. That's what I like, a bit of pleasant conversation. I'm looking for a room. Oh, wrong door, huh? Um, That's all right. I'll, I'll give you a hand. Billy Mars. I own the place. Jane Thompson. Yeah, well. Follow me, June. Thanks. Well, let's see. We've got 15 rooms, 14 empty. Uh, I'll show you the best one, and we can fix all this up later. Upstairs. Here's the view. Not much now, but it used to be something once. A real bustling little town. Cheering teams and the drovers coming through. Had our own race meetings and rodeos. They'd come from all over. Isn't that right, Stella? Biggest thing in the West. My daughter, Stella. Miss Thompson. June Thompson. Hello. G'day. I put her in number four. Yeah, righto. I'll fix that. That's OK, I'll do it. So, June Thompson. Yes. From Baringa. The Sorensen place. Oh, going to? Uh, Perth. She's got a job down there. Oh. We're making a cup of tea, Stella. You want one? Later, thanks. Through here, Miss Thompson. Thanks, Stella. You have one with me? No, thanks. If you need another, you know how it works. Okay?
I'll have a dozen eggs and four pork chops, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry to wake you, Blanco. Oh, I was just checking the dip. You were snoring your head off. Yeah, all right. Seeing as how it's you, mate. For Christ's sake, don't tell anybody. <laughs> How's that? Nectar. Long drive in. Yes. Usually stops for a chat, Maggie Sorensen. I think she was annoyed at me. Huh? For leaving. Just because I got a better job. Said I'd left her in the lurch with the kids. Oh, you looked after them, did you? Yes. There was photographs. Why, that's you. A few years ago now. <sighs> Miss Thompson was the children's nurse out at Saracens. Yeah, I know. Tea's hot if you want it. I'm the one with the silly grin. <laughs> <laughs> Show you the town if you like. All right, thanks. Can it take a few minutes? That's how big it is. so interesting out there. Depends what you're looking for. The feet belong to Blanco White. He owns the store in the garage. He'll run it out of Wallace Junction to catch the train. Don't they go from here? Oh, not anymore, not for two years now. Tuesdays and Saturdays from the junction. Maggie should have told you. Oh, I don't think she was in the mood. Now, good luck. Well, they'll be with us for a few days. Didn't you leave a drink in the bar? So? It'll get warm. Always getting out. Yeah, but I suppose one drink's that important. You make it sound like it is. Well, that's what comes at too many nights of clearing out the drunks, all wanting the last one for the road. Still, if you don't need it, fine. You know something? I don't even like it much. <laughs> you could have fooled me. You've got an edge to your tongue these days, Stella. It wasn't always like that. We used to be able to talk. <laughs> Great pair of talkers. God, you've changed. We've all changed. Well, my father stays the same. He's going to make a fool of himself again. By tonight, it'll be local gossip. What do you think they say about you? I know what they say about me. Yeah, well, maybe you haven't listened lately, because I have, and it's not as nice as it used to be. Yeah, well, nothing's as nice as it used to be. you keep running away from me. It's not all of a sudden. Why do you keep coming back to this town, Andy? In a couple of years, I'll be 40, and my tongue's got an edge to it. And nothing ever happens in this godforsaken place. So why do you come back? You know why. You know bloody well. Now, for all it means to you these days, I might as well go. But you won't. Go where? East 
All the way to Sydney? Not you. No, it'll be like all the other times. <laughs> Fuck you, Stella! You're the only reason I come back here. I thought we could make things work out between us this year. But you don't want to. You made that plain enough. Well, all right. You'll get what you want, Stella. You always did. You'll see the back of me. This time I'm going for good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Barbara. Hot one, isn't it? I filled her up for you. I checked the tires. That's pro. Need your grease and oil, Jay. I can bring it in after the holidays. I do some panel beating for you at the same time. Like your head, for example. Beautiful, Mr. Marston. How do you manage it in this climate? Hard work and all the water we can spare. And not too much of this, Mr. Marsden. The name's Billy. I know. I don't know very much about cricket. Uh, do you get many wickets? <laughs> well, I got seven once. Oh. In a test match against England. Wonderful. <laughs> and was it fun going overseas? No, this was in Melbourne. They never picked me for the tour. Look, I'm keeping you from your work. Ah, never mind. Hey, Cobb. Come here, mate. Hey, listen, do us a favour. Go on, mate. You got our sort to you, Mr. Cobb. You can get a cob. Hey, Cobb. Hi, Mr. White. Four bottles of fourpenny dark. Okay. Maybe he doesn't bloody drop him. What can I do? So you won't be sorry to leave this part of the world then? If you've got a good job in Perth. Oh. No. <laughs> no. The train leaves on Saturday from the junction. Or oh, there's a new air service, but that's 60 miles away. Train will suit me. Uh-huh. <sighs> there you go. Thanks. Aren't you having any? No, it's my turn in the bar. Got a bit of a thirst, mate. By the way, young Cole, are you... I'm not making your dad see you doing that. Don't worry, I won't. You don't get much time to yourself, Stella. <laughs> Enough. Here's your relief, Bill. Relief for us, too. Sure beats looking at your ugly mug. He didn't listen to the oven. Ready when you are, Stel. Right, O.T. Well, you better pour another one, Stel. Here he is. Where have you been? Brown. All right, didn't want to know anyone. Thanks. And I'll have a whiskey chaser.
bicycle is safe. Bloody Riley, you could set your clock by him. Lester! Not working anymore. You're bloody stupid letting these fellas take you away. In the back with you. He says, leave him alone, Riley. You're not doing any harm. Bloody grog alone. Billy, I feel a bit guilty. I didn't leave Sorensen's because of any job in Perth. As a matter of fact, there isn't one. Huh? I um, just didn't like it out there. So you told him you had another job? Yeah. I don't know how many that's been done before. Anyway, I don't care much on the Sorensen's myself. Boyos. Have your corroboree out here. Have a nice walk home in the morning. And don't drink in my town. trying to be hospitable. <laughs> Time for the cut, old mate. Yeah, it'll take some waking. Come on, Andy. Um. Hey, Billy. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll have it. It's a bit late. Bar shut. Ah, friend, friendly one for the stairs. Not tonight. And don't wander into the wrong room by mistake. Good old Stell. Eh? Give me a hand. He's making the most of it before he leaves us. What? Hey, you're not leaving for another four weeks yet. 
Oh, yes, he is. So he says. That's right. Nothing to keep me in this bloody hole any longer. You don't mean that. Oh, I think he might this time. You should, Andy. Ten years of making the same empty promise to yourself. After so long, the promise becomes a bit of a joke. They're right what they say about you. You're going sour, and it shows. You wouldn't give a dog a kind word. What are the kind words he gave me? He's drunk. Oh, and that makes it all right, does it? Well, no. Look, I can't stop him coming here every year in between the rodeo shows, no. Not while you give him a, a room and feed him grog and take his money. That's a lousy thing to say. He comes here because he wants to. He's got nowhere else, you know that. Oh, yeah, and he, he sits and, and talks about the great times he's going to have someday in one of the cities in the East. It's pathetic. If it is, it's because you help make it that way. Well, it wasn't fair, maybe, but it's true enough. Has been ever since you let him into your bed. There was plenty of them, but he was the first. First that counted. You're a good one to talk. No, no, we're talking about you and Andy Ford. He was quite a lad then, but he wasn't quite good enough. You're like everyone else in this place. Look, I told you in those times, he's, he's too choosy. Now, what's ever happened now to the fellas you let down, eh? One after another, they, they went off and found wives and made homes, and you never woke up till the good times were over, did you? But you can't forgive me for not dying myself to the first Good-looking Shearer that came along. Oh, look, I never said that. I just said you tossed away too many chances. Maybe because you had too many. And he's the only one who's stuck in for that. You despise him. I've never despised anyone in my life, Billy. Even you. So you have to do that. Feeling delicate. Yeah. Can't take it no more. Why do you act so hard-boiled? That's not you, Stella. That's not the real you. You'd know, would you? Better than anyone. You're not tough. You're not at all like they reckon. You're the only reason anyone even remembers this place. True. No, it's true. Holden's boundary. You mention that anywhere, right up to the border. People would say that's where Stella Marsden lives. I'm not joking. 
Stella Marsden, fellas that say with a smile. Stella, women that say. And you can hear the jealousy. When you walk down that street, the husbands would look at you, the wives would look at their husbands, even the old blokes. You could see they was thinking of girls like you they'd known when they was young. That's how it used to be. It used to be. Yeah. We really set this town back on its ear. Yeah, a million bloody years ago. Who the hell cares? What do I say now? Look, just go away and leave me alone. June, not up yet. Old Blanco's bashing away. Thirty broke of spring. <laughs> well, what's new? And he's got a hangover. <laughs> hey, listen. What Stella said last night, she didn't mean. This is still my place. And your room's here for you as long as you want. Drop dead. Andy, I've been blowing my money in this place for years. Well, your meal ticket's gone, mate. I've had a belly full. What the hell of a thing to say? Bloody old phony. You don't care any more than she does, but at least she's got the guts to say it. Morning. Oh, sorry. Morning, Jim. Did I come in at the wrong moment? Oh, no. <laughs> The right moment for me. Thanks. I seem to put me foot in it. Sam. Warm. Bit. Bloody flies. Heard you was back. Yeah. Yeah. Them horses are mine. Oh, yeah? Still want to buy them? Dunno. You was interested? Last year. So? Well, they're a year older. A good rodeo animals. So they are. Bit long in the mollers. A trailer too. All in. Yeah? You giving up the game? Yeah, that's right. God, why? Just packing it in. That's all. 
That's a tight yes or no, Jim. In that case, no, nah, sorry. Uh, you picked a bad time, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Fly Davo. Or old Stan at Brindy. You're selling the horses. What are you gonna do for a crust? How about some pears, Millie? Don't like pears. Well, that's a pity. Uh, how about uh, Lester and the kids? Look, they love pears. And they're sixpence off. Oh, well, I'll have one. Ninepence off if you buy two. Hey, Blanco, there's a bloke in town. Well, now's your big chance, Rita. Go grab him. Silly old bugger. He's just walked in from nowhere. Yeah? Look, you think about what you want, Millie, and you can't go wrong with them pears. They'll last forever. I've had them since 1950. Good morning. Yeah, hey, mate. Uh, could I get some help with my car? Well, where is she? The car. Where'd you leave her? Back there, the other side of the dried up river. Fair step. You're enough four mile. You'd have had on your head this time of year. What's wrong with her car? Don't know. I pulled up to photograph a camel. To what? It was grazing. I had the shot all lined up, then some fool drove by and frightened it. Fancy that, eh? Pretty towy camel. Then the motor wouldn't start. Mm, could be airlock in this heat. Might be the carby. Could be anything. I knew a cove once went photographing crocodiles up north. Oh, I was up north a week ago. Yeah, travel a bit, eh? Hey, what happened to your fellow, Blanco? Well, he went snap, the croc went snap. They had to fit him out with a wooden leg. <laughs> Look, about my car. Yeah, we'll be getting to that. Look, I have to be back in Brisbane at the end of next week. I've been travelling around the country. I knew another cove. He travelled all around the country. What happened to him? He got giddy and fell off. Had to give it up. <laughs> my car? <laughs> She'll be apples. Uh, come over the pub in the shade here. Well, thank you. Camel, eh? A oh, man's not a camel, is he? <laughs> what he needs is a cup of tea and a good lie down. Don't we all? Stella! Stella! Hey, did you see that picture? Uh, what's his name? Uh... Look, about my car. I've got to fit the old girl out with a new spring, then I'll run out there with the tow rope. What are you shouting for? I wasn't shouting. <laughs> Not hard of hearing. This fella's car broke down, filming camels. <laughs> I suppose that sounds strange out here. I've been on vacation. What's your name, love? Pearson. Arthur Pearson. Well, I think you could do with a cup of tea. 
Well, no. All I need is... She can't take risks with sunstroke. No, she's right. Stella's right. Come on, Blake. Give us a hand. Come on, we'll fix you up. Marlon Brando. Standing in the sun. Got a headache? I'm sure I'll be all right. I'll look after him. Yeah, well, uh, I hope you feel better soon. Thanks. Milk? Yes, thanks. I'm sorry to put you to all this trouble. It's nothing. Sugar? One. Awfully kind of you. Never have left my hat in the car. Mm, the sun's deceptive. You won't know. I simply forgot it. Oh, that's nice. Good. And I'll give your car keys to Blanco. Oh, oh I'm Mr. Sorry. Peterson. Uh, Here. No, I'm all right. I, yeah. I really can't do no. like this. Don't be silly. Uh, that's it. Put your feet up. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like such a fraud. Why? Well, I, I saw this place on the map. It looked so tiny, I decided to drive straight through. I'm glad you didn't. You might have broken down further out, miles from anywhere. Well, you get some rest. Finished. Look, if uh, Mr. Pearson's ill, I've had some nursing experience. Well, I sent for Doc Thorne. Um, no, it's, it's not that bad. I'll see how he is later. By the way, Stella, uh, Jean's staying on for a bit. That's nice. You don't mind, do you? Yeah, of course she doesn't. There's no real hurry for her to get to Perth, so I've asked her to stay on for a while. Just a few days, a week at the most. Yeah, I told her it's the first time anyone's helped out around here. Well, it's quick doing it together. Well, I'll put them away. Thank you. Later. Pearson's car keys. Blanco will need them. Oh, I'll take them over later. Better do it now. You might want to get started. Oh, okay. Be back in a minute, Jen. I'm so glad you don't mind. First, I thought I couldn't accept, but your father's very persuasive. Did you tell him why you left the Sorensons? Don't you think you should? about my car. Now, Blanco's brought it in. He's looking at it now. You get some more rest. But I can't stay here. Why not? Well, I'm... It's too, <laughs> too late to drive anywhere else. The car might need some work on it, and you need a good night's sleep. There's three good reasons why you should stay. <sighs> I seem to be giving everyone so much trouble. Nobody's complaining. Do you think you could manage something to eat? To tell you the truth, I'm starving. Good. It won't be long. It's 
Stella, can I talk to you? Uh, no, I'm busy. <laughs> this won't take a minute. About what you said earlier. You told him? I'm going to. I see. It was a mistake. It's over and forgotten. Not by Maggie Sorensen. Excuse me. I don't see how it affects Billy and me. Because it's a story that'll get out and make him look ridiculous. Just because Frank Sorensen made a pass at me. Well, Maggie was more explicit. She said a little boy came to her and said, Daddy's in bed with Miss Thompson and they haven't got any clothes on. Might upset my father if he hears. If he doesn't, you'll tell him. I have no intention of saying anything. Stein, is she? Never told you. Good. Yeah, you would. But it's my business. What about Stella? What about her? Well, how's she gonna feel? It's damn all to do with Stella. Even less to do with you. Less than that if you're finally gone. Thanks, Bill. For what? Show me where I stand at long last. What a prize bastard you turned out to be. Tea? Thank you. Uh, that meal was wonderful. Oh, good. I brought mine too. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, not at all. I was just keeping on my diary. A diary? Yes, uh, the places I've been to on this trip. Oh, including here? Oh, yes. Your mansion. Uh, really? Where have you been? Oh. Tell me. Um, all right. Well, uh, please sit down. Uh, Thank you. Well, well I'd better start <laughs> at the beginning. I'll yes. see what I've written down. Mm -hmm. Um. That's a deep thought. What's the matter? Oh, that Andy. You know, it beats me. You know, a fellow for years and suddenly you don't know him at all. Has he said something? <laughs> About me? Well, sort of. Well, if it's about me, shouldn't I know what it is? Oh, he's only been nosy. <laughs> How long he'd stayed. Oh. And what Stella would feel. I mean, it's none of his bloody business. Oh, look, don't it upset you? I suppose he's right, though. About what? Stella, she's not going to like it. No, I got some say in this. And so have I. You're not thinking of leaving? No, I, I want to stay. And if you want me to, then it doesn't matter what anyone else says. Arnhem Land was superb. And the Kimberleys. Then down through the gold fields. Places I'd read about years ago. I'm talking too much. Oh, no, no, I'm enjoying it. Not much to write about Alwyn's boundary, except your car broke down. <laughs> oh, on the contrary. I'll remember the kindness and hospitality. And a certain good listener. Small spot on the map. I... I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> it's true, though. Place to drive through and forget. How many people live here? Oh, about 50. There used to be three times that. The bar always crowded. That all changed. Why? Well, they closed the railway because it was a branch line that didn't pay. And people just started to drift away. Not, not all at once, you know. A few every year. Five or six years, it'll be a ghost town. And the dust will move in. Shouldn't you go back in? You want me to? No. 
Ted can manage the bar. My father believed in this place when we first came here. Friends convinced him that it'd be worth a fortune. I haven't got a hope of selling out now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. I know, it's, it's common knowledge. <laughs> Everyone knows everything. Too much time to gossip about each other. No, small towns, they're primitive. <laughs> I try teaching geography to boys aged 12 to 14. Are they awful? Barbaric. <laughs> You're a teacher. Yeah. I taught school here once, so well, the teacher was sick. I expect your school's quite different. Oh, it's a college. Borders. 800 boys. Uh, here I am going on about our local. When I taught six kids. Must think I'm a fool. Oh, I... I'd never think that. Don't go. I think I'd better. Work to do. Of course. It won't take long. All right. Lambed up tonight still. Did you fix the car? Oh, the distributor's stuffed. Have to get a new one from Wallace Junction tomorrow. How long will it take? Not long, if I can just get a move on. Well, there's no need to hurry. What are you whispering for? Oh, I wasn't whispering. Well, I must be getting hard at hearing. What I mean is I know you're busy. I've got all the time in the world, mate. It's not going to take that long. But you don't have to rush. Mr Pearson isn't leaving just yet. I wonder why. Well, you just tell him I've got everything in hand. <laughs> Here, Blanco. Think you can manage it. <clears throat> got a throat full of dust. Ted's in charge because old Billy's out looking at the moon. Should be past it at his age. <laughs> He's still in there plugging away. Hope his luck. Nice little chassis, that Ah, uh, You've got no chance. Yeah. I'd be third in line. Frank Sorensen's had a go. <laughs> Another thing. Stella fancies the pommy. Not that I blame her. She likes a bit of stray. She hasn't been getting much lately. What? Andy, how are you, mate? How you doing? How are you? Fair go, Andy. Come on. You're a liar. Yeah, I am a liar. <laughs> Cut it out, Andy. You didn't mean nothing. Oh, jeez. Oh, come up it, Andy. <laughs> You're a stinking gossiping old woman. Yeah, I am a gossip. I'm a coward, too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lousy bloody lot. Why don't you ever let up on it? Why in the name of God do you do it? Why? What? Why don't you get out of this place? <laughs> Are you drunk? Yeah, I'm drunk. Thank you. 
Hello. Hello. Uh, the others have had breakfast. Sit down, Arthur. Good Lord. Your father was the cricketer. W.H. Marsden. That's right. He was quite a hero of mine when I was a boy. And mine, when I was a girl. William Marsden. Even we Poms thought he was a great bowler. Everyone was astonished when he didn't get a trip to England. Yeah, I think it broke his heart. Why didn't they pick him? They must have been mad. My mother killed herself when he was uh, cited in a divorce case. And the selectors were fussy about their sportsmen in those days. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. I didn't... Oh, you weren't to know. But that's why I never played again. Mr. White? Mr. White? Oh, oh good day. Uh, up and about, eh? Hey? Did you have a good sleep? Yes, thanks. Did you? Not me, mate. I'm absorbed in your work. I, um... I thought the trouble was in the engine. It is. Right. Always got to look under first. It's no good putting the roof on if the foundations are shaky. What exactly is wrong? Distributors had the dick. How long will it take to fix? Well, it depends. I've got to get a new part. I thought you'd have one. Oh, I don't keep any spares. No, I've got to go into the junction this afternoon. I've got a few stores to pick up and a few fellas to see. I'll be back around four. I can't afford to be held up for days. I shall bear that in mind. I'll do the best I can. Excuse me. Now put your hat on. Oh, you've got to shade the old bonds. You don't want to end up in bed again, do you? I think that chap falls asleep under my car. Well, you can't hurry Blanco, but he'll get the job done. Eventually. I shouldn't be staying. It won't be so bad if you have to stay another night, will it? No, I didn't. No, of course not. <laughs> I'll walk around the town and take some more film. Yeah, righto. Would you like to get some vases? What are you doing? Brightening the place up. You leave that sort of thing to me, thanks. If you want to help, where are the vases? You're a guest here. It's nice of you to be helpful, but I can manage, OK? I'm not a guest any longer. Billy and I are going to be married. <laughs> That's a joke. Ask him. Stella, listen to me for a minute. I, I want to hear it from him. I want to be friends with you. The three of us have to live here. You're not going to tell me you love him. 
I like him very much. We think we can make it last. Oh, like the others lasted. The, the barmaid last summer. Oh, yeah. And the, the widow from Briga before that. Oh. I know about them. I know about your mother. And the times women came and stayed here because of Billy. He told you. I knew it all long before. Bush Telegraph. You had this all worked out, didn't you? <laughs> when Maggie fired you, it was no further to take you to the junction, but you came here. Jeez. And I met Billy, and I'm going to make him happy. Don't underestimate us. I'm not a cheat. He knows the life I've had in other people's houses. He knows my need. And I know his. It's not a bad basis to get along with. Get any notion you'll stop us. Hurry if his grandmother was on fire. I, I thought we'd have dinner out here tonight. Just the two of us. New Year's Eve. Of course. It looks very nice. Oh, good. That's settled then. Look, I. Oh, don't tell me. She'll get you home, my car. Thank you. The keys? In it. I'm sorry, mate. I stalled him as long as I could. I was going slow, even for me. I've done me best, mate. Just stop calling me that, will you? Hey? How much do I have Ten quid. Very reasonable. I'm a very reasonable fellow. Hey, uh, go stick around. Uh, uh, leave tomorrow. Well, I don't know. I've, I've already lost a lot of time. Look, it'll be dark before you get anywhere. The weather's closing in. There's very treacherous roads out there. There's potholes, cattle, kangaroos, your bust your suspension, and I'd be another week fixing it up. Isn't that right, Stell? Oh, yeah, that's right, Blanco. At any rate, there's going to be a double celebration here tonight. Her dad's gone and got himself engaged.
Ewa. You, uh, still interested in selling those horses of yours? And the ute and the trailer. Come and have a beer. No, I don't believe I will, thanks, Dave. Well, come and see me tomorrow. Frank Sorensen. <laughs> comes to that. Out in the garden, having dinner with the jolly old school teacher, what? Oh, that's not right. You should be in here. Well, I reckon we all want a speech from good old Billy, eh? Hey, hey, come on, Billy. Get hey, us hey, up here, hey, Come on. Yeah, let's, let's have a little bit of quiet here. If we don't let Bill make a speech, he'll turn off the grog. Oh. Now, as long as you don't talk about cricket, because we don't want to be here all week. <laughs> now, let's hear it for Bill. Look, I'm not going to make a speech. I'm too long in the tooth for that. <laughs> but it, look, it's it's nice to have you all here to meet the new missus. Yeah. Yeah. Not riding no more, Lester. <laughs> no, boss. Look, I, I, uh, I just wish that, uh, that everyone was here, but, uh, uh, well, never mind. Well, let's, let's get on with it. The grog's on me. Hey! That's as long as the law will let us stay open. Uh, I reckon I can give you till next year. Getting outside in summer, don't you? So much cooler. Yes. <laughs> Didn't know it'd be quite such a celebration. I'm sorry, Arthur. Shouldn't you be in there? Oh, more wine? No, thank you. Uh, I'll get the sweets in a moment. I wish we had longer twilights. It gets dark so quickly once the sun goes down. I heard in England that the twilights last until like, 10 o'clock at night. That's true. What? I said it's true about the twilights. Oh. Yes. I'll get the sweets. I'm really sorry. Look, let's be sensible. It's not. Hey, Ted, hey, Ted, tell them, tell them the one about uh, the school teacher. Oh, dear they. The school teacher! No, Sherlock! Stella, I shouldn't have stayed. It's them. No. Yes, it is. They don't have to make that much noise. They are doing it on purpose. Please. You don't know them. 
They think it's a game. It's deliberate. It doesn't matter, really. I'm not going to shut them up. Please, you must. Stay right please. And I finally get up, and he says, that solves my problem, Sylvia. What's yours? Yes, he is. Thanks very much. If you'd set out to ruin my New Year's Eve, you couldn't have done it better. Hey. Come on, Stella, we're just enjoying ourselves. Your dad and June are getting hitched. You bring the teacher in, we'll buy him one. Yeah, bring him in. After all, I'd done the right thing by you, didn't I? Yeah, how about old Blanco? Could have fixed the car in half an hour, but he made it last a whole day. <laughs> I excelled myself. That's not true. You loud mouths. Hasn't anyone the right to some privacy in this bloody place? Come on, Stella, don't be like that. It's our party. It's only passing trade, but as funny as it seems, I'm going to be your stepmother. Oh. 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 Get out of here, Stella. I'm not going to tell you why she left the Sorensons, but it's time she did. I know why she left. I've known for days, but it doesn't matter. Now, that goes for all of you. Now, just let's get it straight here and now. You want to be welcome in my pub? Well, this is the girl I'm going to marry. Silly old goat, we know that. You don't bung on free booze every night of the week. <laughs> your mongrels. Go on, get out of here, you pack of dingoes. Half in cash, the rest by check. Okay with you, Andy? Yeah. We'll have one to seal it, then I'll run you back into town. Some breakfast ready. June put it in the stove to keep warm. Stella. I'm sorry, Ahida. 
stupid thing to do. Why don't you tell her? No, I'm telling you. All right, I'll pass it on. You're really going to marry this one, aren't you? As soon as we can. We should never have stayed together all these years, should we? Estelle. I should have made the break before we ever came here. After Mum died. Look. Your mother wasn't all that perfect. I mean, it wasn't all my fault. I know. She was weak. Or else she'd have walked out on you. Instead of locking herself in her room and turning on the gas. Can't you ever let that alone? You can try and forget about it and not talk about it and act as if it never happened. But in a way, that's why we stayed together. That was our mistake. Because after that, we lost respect for each other. Never really liked each other. Talking like this doesn't help. So we turned to other people. Neither of us found what we wanted there, did we? Well, I found it now. I'm happy, and it's more than I ever hoped for. And you've got to make up your mind. What? What do you want me to do? It's up to you. Nobody's going to throw you out. Make an effort to get on with June, and you can stay. What else are you going to do? Something to eat? You'd kill a brown dog with that. Run me down to the train directly. No, and you're kidding. You're kidding, aren't you? Same to you. Sorry about last night. Just forget it, eh? We are a bit bloody noisy. It didn't mean any harm, though. I didn't think he'd shoot through like that. At any rate, I'm sorry. Poor Mr. Pearson. Boys 12 to 14, I bet they frightened the life out of him. Yeah. Probably got as far as Wallace Junction and lost himself. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll ask about him when I take Andy in. Andy? Yeah. Won't seem the same without him, will it? Never met a cove who could drink so hard and still throw his leg over a horse like old Andy. Tell him I'm ready when he is. Might take myself into town later. Celebrate. Somewhere to stay in Sydney? Oh, we'll find a place. But you don't know anyone there. Got a cousin down there. Pick him up. What about your horses? I mean, who'll look after them until the rodeo season starts? Stella, where you been the last few days? I sold the horses. In the transport. I sold the lot. What? Ah, oh, they was past it. Like me. No, I'm staying in the east, for keeps. 
Have a coming back. This year hasn't been so good, has it? Oh, last year. There were times before that. There were good times. Yeah. Remember when you first asked me out? Stella. I remember it. You were with the Sheeran team then. All the crowd and the shouting and the noise. <laughs> and there you were, shuffling your feet and looking anywhere but at me. I thought to myself, what can I do to make this man take some interest in me? I never knew that. And then you, you finally asked me to the picnic races, and I already had a date. I broke it. You didn't know that either, did you? Oh. It was with uh, Harry Field. N no, Rick Walker. Yeah. I wonder what ever happened to Rick. <laughs> Married, bought himself a property over on the coast. It's a good day, Andy. Always a few that stay with you years after, as if it was yesterday. And we back some winners. And you wore a dress with big red flowers all over. Oh, you do remember. As if it was yesterday. And there was a dance, and you got mad because all the fellas kept trying to cut in. So we got out of there and came home. Here, to this room. I remember other things, Stella. Waking up the next morning and you was gone. And I lay there in that bed and I knew I was in love with you. And I got dressed and went looking for you and you was across the street, sitting and laughing in some traveler's car. And if I'd been smart, the sick feeling I got in my gut then should have told me what it was going to be like. But I was 24 and never very bright. And he don't. don't you want to remember? Well, I'm remembering. There was others. There was always others. You, you was never really happy unless you had fellas fighting over you. But I went back shearing that year, certain that when I come back down again, you'd marry me. When I did, when I did, there was another joker. But I never got the message, did I? Not for years did I get the message. All the sly winks or the conversations that stop when I come by. I, I was never as bad as they try to make me. It wasn't bad, Stella. Young, pretty. And whatever they said about you, they all was distorted. But one thing was true. You got to hate me. No, now no. Now it's too late. We could go together, start fresh somewhere else, it's and... It's too late! Too many years of being treated like shit. Too many men like that school teacher. And don't say you suddenly care for me, because it isn't true. But we could try, could no. we? No! You only want to get out of this place because you hate it. Yeah, all right, I hate it. We're all dying here. Hey, pack up and go. Go on, go on your own. Do what? Clean up? A barmaid in someone else's hotel? What hope have I got? Andy, please help me. Please help me. Oh, for Christ's sake, Stella, will you stop it? Now stop it. You leave me something, girl. <laughs> Sorry. But two days ago, you'd have taken me. I wanted to. For years, I only come back hoping to marry you. I never really had a chance. Not when they were through with us. Who? Friends. People. Everyone that knew us. Too many dirty jokes in too many country towns. That's all that's left of us, Stella. Come on. Come on. 
Jasper. You stay and mind the shop. Say a bloody word and I'll wait there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're too good for me. Should I say to the bar? No, no, still I can manage. Let's you and me turn in. Hey, Dad, it's time to go. Blanco. I'm going. Come on. Hey. Give me a kiss. No, I'll give you a coffee. Yes. Oh, you're a good mate. You always were a good mate. Far enough. Hold on a second. 